Imagine a world where computational software agents simulate unbelievable human behavior. A world where AI artists paint and authors write. Where these AI agents form opinions and initiate conversations. Where memories are synthesized into higher level reflection to plan behavior. This is the world of generative agents. This groundbreaking paper introduces generative agents that wake up, cook breakfast, and head to work. Agents that remember and reflect on their days. The future of gaming is here, and it's powered by generative agents. In this video, I'm going to walk you through this amazing paper and show you some very cool demos of these AI agents' abilities to replicate human behavior and form human-like societies. So let's get started. There is a new fascinating paper from Stanford and Google. The paper is titled Generative Agents Interactive Simulacra of Human Behavior. This paper introduces generative agents, which are computational software agents that simulate believable human behavior. It's a simulated world in which they place 25 generative agents. Each agent was given its own personality so these agents wake up, cook breakfast, head to work, and form opinion just like humans. The fascinating part is that these agents remember and reflect on past days as they plan the next days. So with this memory, they have memory of all the interactions that they had. These agents have memory and personality. They remember and reflect on past days as they plan the next day. All these agents are driven by a large language model. And the architecture extends that large language model to store complex records of agents' experiences using a natural language. The agents produce believable in individual and emergent social behaviors, just like humans. Think about the implications of this work. Now, each and every NPCs or non-playable characters in video games can have its own character and personality. And rather than narrating some predefined sentences, they will now be able to interact with players more naturally. The authors of this paper simulated a small sandbox wall called Smallville. This is a replica of a small town, so there are co-living spaces, houses, cafe, bars, stores, parks, houses, and there's a college, and groceries, and pharmacy as well. This is inspired from Sims. The idea is to explore how social behaviors can emerge among AI agents. For that, uh, the author included three main components in the agent's architecture. So the first one is the memory stream, which records agents' experiences. Then there is a reflection component, which synthesizes memories into higher level inferences. And then there's planning, which translate to those conclusions into action plans. These reflections and plan influence agents' future behavior. And based on these three components, the agents are able to take actions independently. These generative agents can simplify the process of creating in-game events and interactions. So for example, instead of manually scripting the behavior of multiple characters for a Valentine's Day party, uh, in this case, it is simply sufficient to tell one agent that she wants to throw a party. So just like humans, they showed that these agents can independently interact with each other. The agents in the environment succeeded in spreading the word about the party and showing up. One agent even asks another agent on a date to the party, all from a single user-generated seat suggestion. Now, how does it work? So the authors created a one paragraph natural language description of each agent's identity, including their occupation and relationship with other agents. These descriptions serve as seed memories for the agent. Uh, for example, John Lynn is described as a pharmacy shopkeeper using the following description. So John Lynn is a pharmacy shopkeeper at the Velo Market and pharmacy who loves to help people. He is always looking for ways to make the process of getting medication easier for his customers. So that's kind of his personality. John Lynn is living with his wife, Mi Lin, who is a college professor, and his son, Eddie Lin, who is a student studying music theory. So this description will simply drive the personality of John Lin. And same is the case for other agents. All the interactions of these agents with their world and among themselves is through natural language. At each uh, timestamp, uh, agents output a natural language statement describing their current action. This statement is translated into current movements and displayed on the sandbox interface as a set of emojis. The system employs a language model to translate the actions into emojis. So for each action, you will see emojis like these. 
these agents communicate with each other in full natural language and can engage in conversation with each uh, others in the local areas. Here is an example of the conversation that is happening. So Isabel um, is saying, I'm still weighing my options, but I have been discussing the election with Sam Moore. What are your thoughts on him? Then Tom responds, to be honest, I don't like Sam Moore. I think he's out of touch with the community and doesn't have our best interests at heart. In the game, we're simply forming a society and these conversations are happening organically based on the current uh, situation and environment of the society, which is also evolving over time. Now, although these AI agents are independent and the interactions are happening in organically, the user also has some control. So there are two ways you can interact with the game. Either you can communicate with the agent through conversation. So let's say you can pose uh, like someone and interact with them or by issuing directive to the agent in the form of inner voice. And this inner voice really controls the behavior of uh, your agent. So for instance, when, you, when, when told you're going to run against Sam in the upcoming election, by a user as John's inner voice. So John's decide to run in the election and share his candidacy with his wife and son, right? So that, that is a way of you can control and manipulate the environment and behavior of these agents. Before looking at the demo, let's see what a day in the life of an agent looks like. So the agent starts the day with a single paragraph description and their behavior evolves as they interact with each other and the world. For example, here, John Lynn is the first to wake up around 7 p.m. Then he brushes his teeth, take a shower, then goes and prepare and eats breakfast and checks the uh, news at the dining table in the living room. His son Eddie wakes up and they have a brief conversation and then they go about their day. Now, the behavior of the agent will change based on the interaction they have with other agents. Here is how this interaction could look like. So, John, good morning, Eddie. Did you sleep well. Eddie, good morning, dad. Yeah, I slept great. John, that's great. What are you working on today? And Eddie is saying, I'm working on a new music composition for my class. It's due this week. So these are kind of normal human interactions that you would expect. Each agent's behavior is controlled by this architecture. In simple terms, they perceive their environment and all the perceptions are stored in the memory stream. Whenever they need to perform another action, they simply retrieve information from the memory stream. Then based on the retrieve information, they uh, plan their next action. And these uh, stored memories are also used uh, for changing the behavior of the agent. So they reflect on their past memories and accordingly adjust uh, their interactions with both the environment as well as the other agents. The memory stream comprises a large number of observations that are relevant and irrelevant to the agent's current situation. So there, there is a retrieval step that identifies a subset of observations that should be passed to the language model to condition its response to the current situation. The authors have added a component of reflection in their agent's architecture, which really drives their personality. So all the actions are based on their past interactions and they reflect on those interactions and form their personality and self-notion. Overall, it's a fascinating read and I would encourage everybody to read this paper. Apart from games and NPCs, it really has some real-world applications. So for example, if you are preparing for an interview with a difficult person or personality, so you can use AI agents to stimulate their behavior on personality and interact with them. This will help you in preparing for the interview or in other uh, social situations. So let's look at their online demo. It's not real time. So it's a pre-computed uh, re replay of simulation that has happened before. But you can here see the interactions the different agents are having, right? So it's just one component or like a small area. And these agents you see they are coming in and out talking to each other, doing different things. And each thing is represented by this emoji, right? And so for example, I think this one is talking. Okay, now if you come down, here you have all uh, 25 different agents and then the emojis represents the current uh, task they're uh, performing, right? 
Now you can select one of them. Let's say we select this person uh, and see what the agent is doing. All right. Now if you come down to the page, uh, let me select somebody else. Let's see, I think it's Tom. All right. So it's uh, this agent is in a different part of the uh, sim world. Right. Now, for example, uh, so it's Tom and the current action closing the Willow Market and Pharmacy. So restocking shelves. Uh, location is uh, Harvey Oak Supply Store. Right. And then you can actually go and see the details. So, for example, for Tom, that's the current time and everything. Here's the personality. So he's rude, aggressive uh, and energetic. And uh, this is the one paragraph description that they provided for each agent and they even uh, give it a lifestyle. So this is pretty nice, a really detailed, right? And then like whatever the daily requirements are, right? And if you go down to the page, so this is like all the interaction uh, Tom has had so far, right? So, and that's based on the uh, agent's memory, right? So you can actually go till the end. Here they would define the routine and then uh, some uh, different aspects some uh, Tom's personality. So I really like this, like Tom uh, doesn't have a favorable opinion of Sam Moore. So this is really like human behavior is, uh, they are trying to replicate, right? Like human, we as a human uh, like some people or don't like some people, right? So they are trying to replicate all those behaviors. You can also look at some other characters, but overall it's a fascinating work. Uh, it will really change the, our gaming industry. And even, uh, I would say, like the way we interact with these uh, different AI agents. It's a brand new world. Hope you like this update on the latest that is happening in the world of AI. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.